Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it's the end of January, but you know what? We're gonna have a Christmas bread video today. All you need is water, yeast, bread flour, very important, it needs to be bread flour, salt, dried milk powder, sugar, of course, butter, vanilla extract, orange extract, cinnamon, raisins, and craisins. Now if you're new here, I do all of my bread kneading, the initial mixing and kneading in my bread machine. It does so much better than my hands. I know, don't fall on the floor. I know there's some people clutching their pearls right now. Just hang on and stick with me. Don't click off this video. <laughs> but I just find that my bread maker does a much better job than my mixer or my hands. And so that's what I do for all of my bread recipes. It does take a little bit longer, but I feel like the kneading is so much better. And so this is the only part that the bread maker will be doing. I will be baking this in the oven. And if you are concerned that I'm not talking about what I'm doing here in the video, don't worry about it. You can see what I'm doing, but also you can go on down to the description box and find the complete recipe. Now, this is a note. Whenever I add my dry ingredients in here with the wet ingredients, I do mix it here and there just to help the bread maker get everything started. I've been making this bread every Christmas time for probably about the past four years. I got this recipe from Heather from The Needy Homesteader. I will link her channel below. She is fantastic. She is the one who inspired me to start baking my own bread at home. And I love her videos. Be sure you go check her channel out if you have never heard of her. You will learn so much about doing anything and everything from scratch. She does sourdough, bread, canning. Oh man, if you need to learn about canning, she is a great place to go to on YouTube for this. So anyway, back to this bread. You can see I'm adding all my ingredients into the bread machine tin, whatever that is called, bowl, I guess. Now I make this a regular loaf uh, setting on my bread machine and I find that it does a really good job. Now after this gets a little bit combined, after you feel like it's moving along, then you're going to want to add the other, the last two ingredients, which are the raisins and the craisins. And I find that it's best to do that after everything really starts going. this recipe has icing because it does you're gonna need some powdered sugar butter whole milk is best here vanilla extract and orange extract and just to save on dishes <laughs> so I'm not washing a million things I like to actually do this with my hand mixer instead of getting my big mixer out. I've already got my big bread maker out. Uh, sometimes I'd rather just do this with the hand mixer and and it's, 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 I think, easier to do it this way as well. But yeah, this is a really simple icing. You know, you could put this on your cinnamon rolls too if you wanted to. It's a really good Christmassy tasting <laughs> recipe and I think it's mostly because of that orange extract. I don't know why. It just makes it next level tasty.
All right, after the bread maker has worked its magic, I'm just gonna turn it out onto my countertop, my nice clean countertop, and I put some flour on there just to make sure it doesn't stick. This usually doesn't stick very much anyway. I don't even know if I need to do that exactly, but I'm gonna need this for just a few minutes and get it in a nice ball so that it can rest. Look at that, you can see the cinnamon, you can see the raisins, the cranberries, ugh, so good. Now I'm taking some coconut oil spray and I'm putting it in the bottom of this metal mixing bowl and this is where my bread is going to rest. As you can see, I'm putting the ball in there and kind of twirling it around, getting it completely coated. And then I'm gonna cover this and let it rise for one hour. Now this Christmas bread can be made in a regular loaf pan, but I love using the Pullman pan. The size is just perfect. And I do spray it with a little um, coconut oil spray here. I've also used butter, I've used olive oil, I've used whatever, and no matter what, it always turns out really good. <laughs> and after the bread is finished rising, you can see I'm punching it here, and then I'm gonna roll it out to uh, a nice big circle and then roll it into a loaf that will fit in the Pullman pan. Just watch. You can see that I'm putting the Pullman pan out just to get a good idea of the, the width and I'm gonna roll this into a roll that will fit inside the Pullman pan. Uh, I try to get it as even as I can. I'm not that good at it, but, but I try. You know, seal the edges, tuck in the ends, and it's ready to go into the Pullman pan and rest uh, for another 30 minutes. I'm actually gonna link the Pullman pan below. You can use it with the lid or without the lid, it doesn't matter. Uh, on this particular day, I'm actually using it without the lid and I kinda wish I had, and you'll see in a minute why. But <laughs> yeah, either way, tastes delicious. And I don't know what got into me, but I forgot to film the resting and setting the oven to 350 degrees. I let it rest for 30 minutes and then I baked it for 25 minutes in the oven. And look at that. Oh, isn't it beautiful? I'm just turning it out onto my cooling rack here. And I find that, uh, that I let this rest for about five minutes. You don't wanna let it rest for too long because you're about to put icing on it and the icing needs to go on some warm bread. Just to minimize cleanup in my house, I actually decided to put some aluminum foil down to catch all of the drips of the icing. And look at that. I had it in the fridge for a bit, ugh. So nice. Now here's why I would suggest to use the lid because if you use the lid on the Pullman pan, it makes the top completely flat and it makes it easier to spread. But that's it. And seriously, look at this stuff. This is so good. This is the perfect Christmas morning treat. I've given this as gifts to neighbors. I think it goes over better than cookies or muffins. You just put it in the toaster or under the broiler in your oven and just eat it plain or put some butter on it. Either way, it's delicious. I hope you enjoyed this video today and I also hope that you go out and try to make some of this Christmas bread for your family. Thanks for watching, bye.